had your wildest dreams. You surrender first. Why should we surrender? We have the H2O obliterator. 2,000. Correction, you had the H2O obliterator. Now it's ours. Melvin, why is it doing that? He must have hacked the rubber drive and wiped the rubber atrix. What? I didn't make him do that. It was dark when I hacked that thing. It's gone bonkers. Like in our comic book. Yes. But be less happy about it. Whoa. Balloon robots are so over. Sophie won. Let's hide under an umbrella. Other Sophie, be an umbrella. <gasps> we need Captain Underpants before both camps are swamped. Truce? Truce. Only until we know we're not able to obliterate. Deal. Mr. Krupp, are you okay? Better than okay, because I'm asleep, so I can't hear the camp being destroyed. Also, how's your enemy ship going? <laughs> Trolla leg! Wait, don't legs usually have water? Yep, that balloon bot took it off. Well, then I've got a balloon to burst. Wait, just in case the thing springs a leak, wear this. Thanks! For legs! Where'd you get that? Have you guys seen a poncho? Someone stole it off my body when I wasn't looking. -la -la! You're going down, balloon guy! But can you twist yourself into a giraffe first or a duck? Anything, please? No? Okay! Chapter 5, the incredibly graphic violence chapter in Balloon Animal Orama. Because it's not a party without balloon animals. <laughs> the kids, I hope you're having fun at Scott's birthday. Who wants giggle nose to make balloon animals? It's Captain Underpants and a dog. Whoopsie doopsie. That dog went rogue. <laughs> what about a unicorn? Whoa, Nelly. That's balloon assault. Let's try a palm tree. <gasps> and that's balloon aside. So old giggle nose has got to hit the road. Happy birthday, Scott. Kids. In my day, clowns were funny. Ooh, what? They... <laughs> He's so rubbery. My punches bounce off of him and hit me. Like this. We need a new plan. Yep, we need to think outside the box, like in my comic. Or maybe Balloonatic needs a friend, like in my comic, oh. a water friend. Or an outside-the-box friend, like a fire friend. Like... Camp La Fire! Melvin, how fast can you create a giant campfire monster? Time me. Melvin. Six minutes. Not bad. Because we're a great team. We're Melvin and George. Melvorge. Or Gelvin. Your choice. So, uh, when Camp La Fire and Balloonatic hug, the fire will burst the balloon and the water will put out the fire. Hey, Camp La Fire! Why don't you go say hi to Balloonatic? You're both giant monsters! Yeah, you probably have a lot of giant monster stuff to talk about. I don't get it. Camp La Fire and Balloonatic aren't gelling. They are water and fire, so we'll have to force the friendship. Captain Underpants, group hug! I was gonna do that anyway. -la -la. You know, I've never met a problem that couldn't be solved by a hug. Hug like you mean it! I'm hugging with all my tiny whitey mighty! Time to hug like a family that actually likes each other. Ah, maximum squeeze! Lines are the worst. Blend garage door, mute, found it. Be free. That makes sense. Ah, push it. Push it real good. Chapter 7. To make a long story short, it worked. Man, the school is jacked. 